been visiting the world's ecosystems for over 50 years now. Uh, what changes are you seeing in places that you're going back to, like the Great Barrier Reef? Just recently I've been in Borneo, uh, and I've been going to Borneo for 50 years or so. Um, and um, it's very evident there, particularly if you take a hel to take fly by air, a helicopter journey across the across the width of Borneo uh, or sections of it anyway, uh, is very revealing. Uh, the Kinbanatango River, um, which used to be a, a really wild area uh, when I first went, uh, there's a fringe of about uh, I suppose a couple of hundred yards on either side of the river where there's where there's riverine forest. And then beyond there, there is uniform oil palms. As you talk to scientific experts, what was it that convinced you that humans are causing these kind of changes, particularly climate change? Oh, well, I think you put your finger on it. It's when you talk to the experts, uh, because um, by and large, looking for uh, human effects on the natural world, you just don't go out and walk into the bush and say, oh, yes, that's human effects. Uh, you need a much more uh, solid uh, observations than that, and particularly observations through time. And what convinces you um, is measurements of the uh, component gases in the atmosphere, for example. Uh, and when you've got records, as we have in Europe, uh, of going back to the 18th century, uh, the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, and you suddenly see uh, the, the figure of CO2, for example, and, and other gases too, uh, are steadily increasing. And if you plot against that uh, population as well, um, you have not much doubt that human beings have had an effect upon the, upon the atmosphere. Based on what you've seen and, and talking to the experts, how do you think that life on Earth will be affected if we don't uh, resolve the climate change problem? Well, I think the mo one of the most sensitive places is, is here in Eastern Australia, uh, in Queensland. Um, the, the two uh, effects of climate change that, that I think we can be absolutely certain about, beyond any question, uh, is that the temperature of the ocean is rising, uh, and the acidity of the ocean is rising. Uh, and work that's been done here uh, in Heron Island and, and elsewhere makes it absolutely clear as to what the effect of those two factors will be upon coral growth. Uh, and um, the, the increasing, the time passing and increasing those figures will lead, lead to disaster unless something is done. Uh, and there, may, there are those who say that, that there's almost nothing that can be done. Except, and my response to that is, that it'll be worse if we do nothing. Um, there's not an excuse for doing nothing saying you can't stem it. Uh, you can slow it down, that's for sure. Um, and it'd be really culpable if we don't. Are you optimistic that we can make the changes we need to avoid uh, the worst impacts? I, I have no um, real evidence to feel one way or the other. Uh, it's only gut feeling. and. Um, and gut feeling is not a, a good way of going around and judging things. All I know is that a, a responsible biologist has to say what these facts are um, and to, to take every chance of influencing, influencing those people who can change or can influence those circumstances. And those are primarily politicians. I guess that, um, that brings an important question is, what advice would you give scientists and experts who are trying to communicate the realities of climate change to the public and to policy makers? I, 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 don't, I don't have advice to give them really because um, all the circumstances are different. I mean, except that we have to go on proclaiming the truth. Um, and that's what science has done uh, ever since uh, Galileo, you know, I mean, for 500 years. That's what scientists do. Uh, the scientists don't take a notice of fashion and don't take notice of political influence and don't take notice of any other kind of influence. The only influence that they should take notice of is that are the evidence which they find and which their discipline teaches them to assess. You must get a lot of uh, feedback from people who watch your shows. Uh, what, how do you respond to people who don't accept the science of climate change? Um, it's very, it's very difficult to, um, if they don't, if they won't take notice, if they won't believe the figures. Um, what can you say? 
um, it, it is an ex seems to be an extraordinarily um, offensive thing to do to say to a scientist your figures are wrong. Um, I mean, if, of course, there are complex statistics and simple statistics, and and we know that st statisticians and the science of statistics is is a sophisticated one, and then uh, figures don't uh, automatically yield up the truth. Um, but you can only be honest, and you can only only work to the facts as you see them, and as your discipline teaches you to deduce them.